we are from the Faculty of Business Economic Accounting Study Program. In this video, we would like to discuss about e-money. Before we discuss about it, let me introduce our group. My name is Dian Fadia. My name is Jody Indra Priyadi. My name is Kani Amanda. My name is Nabila Zain. My name is Nuriza Namazia. My name is Octavia Rahmawati. We will be with you for the next few minutes with our discussion topics. Well, let's begin! Money was first released in Indonesia 10 years ago in 2009. It was marked by the issuance of Bank Indonesian Regulation that April 13, 2009, concerning electronic money by Bank Indonesia. This regulation is also equipped with a circular that regulates the matter of electronic money provider institutions. Electronic money or e-money is the electronic alternative to cash. Electronic money or e-money is money stored in the banking system to conduct electronic transaction. This e-money is usually in the form of a card with a chip in the for transaction issued by a banking institution out of the value in it is equivalent to cash used as a means of buying and selling. The nominal in e-money cannot be cashed. Some of the uses of e-money are to pay toll road fares, pay for parking, train tickets, or KRL, commuter line, buses, or even to shop at mini markets and supermarkets. Same with regular debit cards, when you use e-money for transactions, the value in it will decrease and increase when refilled. E-money can be held on cars device of on a server. Examples include prepare cards, electronic purses, such as M-Pisa in Kenya, or based or web-based service such as PayPal. A such e-money can serve an umbrella term for a number of more of more specific electronic value products and service. The presence of electronic money aims to reduce the level of use of cash dedicated to retail, to retail or micro payments. Currently, many people have switched to using this electronic money because is because of it's it's confines and form it does not take up much space e-money benefits many benefits of e-money can be obtained because it is suitable to be applied in any field from the business world to shopping so what are the benefits of e-money here are the review one practical and fast no need to bother looking for atms and carrying paper money with just one application or e-money card you can pay for all your shopping transaction quickly you only need to tap on a special electronic money machine that is available at retail outlets in addition to shopping electronic money can be used to pay for monthly needs such a BBJS hold, electricity bills, and other. 2. Recorded and accurate. All transactions will be recorded by a special system. The system is designed to reduce the occurrence of error. Because electronic money is based on a computer system, it is no longer necessary to store long and money grocery receipts. Whenever and wherever, checks expense online because the system keeps record of all transactions that have been made with it patient, top up balance, and so on. E-money type 
When imani is divided into two, the following is the definition of imani based on the type, namely 1. Prepaid software Prepaid software, also known as digital cash, is imani whose value is started on a hard disk in a PC to transfer funds via the internet network. 2. Prepared card Prepaid cards are often referred to as electronic purchases, which are imani whose value is in a chip embedded in a card. Example of prepaid cards are Flash BCA, Mandiri Imani, Breezy, and Ben E Prepaid. Flash BCA is the first example of a prepaid card using Imani. Bank BCA is the first bank to take advantage of the sophistication of Imani technology by using prepaid cards with advanced technology. You can use this card at various merchants that cooperate with Bank BCA. Meanwhile, Mandiri Imani is a prepaid card issued by Bank Mandiri. Easy is issued by BRI Bank and BNI Prepaid is issued by Bank BNI. Apart from the above banks, there are also non-banking institutions that also issue prepaid cards, such as Telkomsel. Example of Imani Reported from the official website of Bank Indonesia, example of e-money that have received official permission are valid and can be used for electronic transactions including BCA or Bank Central Asia with Flash, BRI Bank Rakyat Indonesia with Prezi, Bank Mandiri with Mandiri e-money, National Nobu Bank with Nobu e-money, Bank DKI with Jcard, Bank BNI or Bank Negara Indonesia with Top Cash, Mega Bank with Mega Cash, Telkomsel with Top Easy, PT Mas Rapid Transit or MRT with MTT, PT Kereta Komuter Indonesia or KRL with KMT. Of the many example of electronic money, some can be used for various electronic transaction. Some can only be used for one purpose, such as the MTT card for the MRT transportation service payment system. The use of e-money does not require an authorization process such as the use of a PIN or a signature because e-money is not directly related to the customer's account at the bank. The use of e-money does not charge the payment to a bank account as is the case with a credit or debit card. Customers who have e-money in certain denomination for example 100,000 rupiah maximum 1 million rupiah First, register e-money at the counter for the issuer of electronic money for activation. Furthermore, the value of the reloaded money are filled in and recorded on electronic media. For example, a card issued by a bank, cell phone, or prepaid card. Retail outlet or merchant authorized as places to shop will debit the amount according to the transaction every time a transaction mutation occurs the merchant computer connected to the e-money issuer's network will perform a kind of clearing calculation as with prepaid card users can also add or top up the electronic money advantages of e-money 1. You don't need to bring cash for shopping or to pay for parking and you can use it all the place provide special tool for the e-money card 2. The transaction become more accurate because they are managed by computer and machine 3. You don't have to wait for the for change because the nominal amount will decrease as much as the amount you need for there are, there is a database that can record all the transactions you make so don't you don't have to remember what the money was used for five the transaction become faster disadvantage of e-money first vulnerable to be hacked or hacked because it use electronic system and the internet second there is a risk of data loss due to software errors not all place have the tool used
to use digital e money and not all place apply e money including at merchants third the money you save in e money will be lost if you lost the card or device used to save the money the conclusion of this video is electronic money is a method of payment that is very easy although there are only a few drawbacks the presence of electronic money aims to reduce the level of use of cash there are many benefits of e-money that can be obtained because it is suitable to be applied in any field ranging from the business world to shopping which are more practical and faster as well as more recorded and accurate of the many example of electronic money some can be used for various electronic transaction also those that can only be used for one purpose such as mtt card for service payment system mrt transportation the use of e-money does not require an authorization process such as the use of a pin or a signature because e-money is not directly related to the customer's account at the bank. The use of e-money is not charged payment to a bank account as is the case with a credit or debit card. However, we still have to use it wisely so that our financial condition is not disturbed thank you for watching this video i hope this video is useful for all don't forget to like and comment on this video bye bye